Hi and welcome to Dolly Doomers. My name is Renee Dowlin and today we'll be working on a custom doll of Jojo. For this project you'll need both Spice and Rocker. I'm going to switch out their bodies. I don't want striped Spice as striped legs so I'm going to switch them out for just a plain body. This is Coconut QT's skirt and Pink Baby's shirt. And then we have um, the little shoes. I'm not sure who they came from, but you just need little any little shoes. These were already silver, so it just makes one less step. Okay, so our first step with this is we are going to take white paint and basically prime Spice's dark hair because we're going to make JoJo's hair yellow, so we really need a light base. So we're going to do this all over it, and we're going to do it a couple of times. Next, we're going to start with the adding the pink to Coconut QT skirt. I use the little forms that come with the dolls, and I keep them so that I can paint on them. It just makes them easier to handle, and just gives you kind of a solid back and it keeps my hands from getting, getting it even less messy than they already do. Okay, so the next is the Cerulean Blue and Deep Sea Martha Stewart brand. I kind of mix and match them here, but we are going to mix this color for the shirt or for the jacket for that blue jean color. We're going to do this all over and we're actually going to give it a couple of coats also. So when it's finished it should look like this and this. Once you get the two coats on of paint for Jojo, we're going to add her side ponytail and we're going to do this by taking tin foil and crinkling it up and sculpting the shape of the ponytail that we want it to be. Now the reason that we're using tin foil is because we are going to use another product and I don't want to use very much of that. So I'm just making a base to kind of fill it be a filler. So I'm going to add on this piece of tin foil with hot glue. I would not normally do that, but since the product that I'm going to use next um, hardens and becomes a rubber and becomes more permanent, I it's okay on this step to go ahead and use the hot glue. Once that is finished and cooled, we're going to use this product called Sugru, and it is awesome. You want to look for the original formula, not the family friendly. That is super duper sticky, but it works a lot like air dry clay. But once it dries, instead of becoming clay where it breaks, it will actually become rubber and um, is a little bit more bendable and you can play with it a little bit better. More durable. So have to roll it up and kind of mold it and then what you do is you apply it in pieces and then smooth it out just like you'd be working with clay. And once I get all of this on the tin foil then we will begin to um, shape it and mold it a little bit better. For this step, I'm going to be using a silicone tool, and you can get these on Amazon or at any kind of craft or art store, but they have a silicone base to them, and you can make different shapes with them. There's flat, rounded, but I do this to make the creases of the hair to mimic the rest of the hair that's already on the original doll. 
I also take these and kind of smooth and solidify all of the edges um, between my extra additional parts and the original doll. looking closer to Jojo already. So this is an metallic crimson red. And it comes out more like a pink or a magenta color. And then this is Martha Stewart and it's Mother of Pearl. This is just gonna give a pearly base to that shirt that she's wearing. Now, since it is metallic, it will take a few layers to get it solid. It looks adorable when it's done. Now we're gonna work on the details of her jacket. She always has like little um, accessories or pins, little patches on her. So we're doing a little bow, of course, for Jojo. And I'm paint just painting a little bow right here with that same color that I already used. I added a little bit more Mother of Pearl so that it's just a tiny bit lighter. Then I'm taking a little bit darker of the, the crimson red and I'm putting it just in the creases to give it a little bit more dimension so that you can see the jacket is definitely over the shirt. Now we're going to make a cute little rainbow. Just regular white paints to make the clouds and we're just kind of dotting them on there. You don't have to be perfect. Now this yellow, we're going to put a little bit yellow for the rainbow. A light blue. And then we did add a pink also. Now we're gonna add some yellow, the same yellow that we had to do the base of the rainbow. We're just gonna do a little emoji here. And then with a pin, a straight pin, I'm gonna do little dots for the eyes and the smile. I have already fashioned a little bow made out of air dry clay for Jojo's skirt. And you can see me using the silicone tool again to really just get everything into place. Once that is dried, we'll go ahead and adhere it to the skirt. And then we'll begin to paint it with a light blue. To make this bow look three more three-dimensional, we're gonna go ahead and add some darks underneath where the shadows would be. And it'll just give it some depth to the bow. At this point with the big brush, I don't have any paint on it, just some water, and I'm just blending in that dark.
Now that our shirt and our skirt are drying, we are going to be working on her hair. I've got a medium brown and then a, almost like a golden yellow. And then I have this bright cadmium yellow also to kind of mix in. I take a little bit of each, mix it all together to get a good base color. It will be a medium color that we're going to use here and we'll add darks and we'll add lights. So you just want to start with like a medium base. The longer the strokes are on the face, the less cleanup you'll have to do at the end. I'm going to take long strokes. Once you have two coats of the yellow on, I'm going to go ahead and add the dark. We're going to take that golden color that we were working with before, we're just going to apply that straight onto the medium color that we've already put on Jojo. We're going to take it into the creases, just a little bit at a time, and it'll create the depth of her hair. go back in with all of those creases that we made with our silicone tool and add that gold to it. The next thing we're going to do is seal everything with Dirt Clear. I use Ultra Matte and we're just going to put this all over. Thin, even coat works best. Same thing for the shirt, same process. You'll see that the base comes in really handy right about this time. Now before we do the head we are going to use 100% acetone nail polish remover. We're going to take off our little mole and we're going to clean up any of the spots that we got on our face that we don't want. If you have pointed q-tips those work awesome but I didn't have any at this moment. You can also use an old paintbrush, don't use a new one, but an old paintbrush that you don't want anymore and dip it in the acetone and it will take it off as well. Once that is finished, then you may seal it. All over. Now, in the meantime, I have made a bow for Jojo and I already have put that on her head. I am not a bow maker, so I'm not going to show you the correct way to make a bow because I am not great at it. <laughs> I'm sure there's tutorials on that. We're going to put on our clothes now. She's looking so cute. Final touches and we have Jojo. Thank you so much for watching our video. I really hope to see your own Jojo's made and remember to subscribe to our channel.